Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here uh, you, I, like I promised to you, I return to the um, V12 engine. I will work here on the crankshaft bearing cap. Uh, if you like to see the mini copper is working on surfaces mode, you can see this link. Here, I will um, I will isolate the two of these components, the crankshaft and the cylinder block. I do that just to question of uh, appearance to see uh, where you you are drawing on, and the second reason is. To use only these reference. Here I will create a new component using internal here for the name. Here I'm using a tablet. That's the first. Uh, that's the first thing I'm using a tablet of Fusion 360. Just a test. Okay. It looks good. Being the name is Crank Shaft Being Cap. Activate the component. As you can see here, the the appearance of the the crank shaft and the the cylinder block is changed. As you can see here, see the this plan if it's okay if it's on the surface on the cylinder block. I think it's okay. If you want to select the surface, go on. If you can, if you want to select the the plan, it's not a problem. As you can see here. It, but I think you can use shift or control to select it okay but you have another uh, technique here is just to select it in the in the tree here okay select the XZ plan is on the X axis here it's important to see the reference because you will draw on the cylinder block. Click continue here. And now what you have to do is just to select and project. Okay? Or press P to project and select the, the, the references. As you can see here, um, when you when you look at this uh, surface, you can you can project it and not drawing all the. So you can see project is this one, or can you can press P. And the surface selected and as you can see fusion project all the uh, entities of the cylinder uh, block I do the same thing I will select the surface and press P in the selection filter make sure that all thing is alright now I will join all these points using L like line okay uh, but before that I want to hide the cylinder block and the crank shaft as you can see here I will hide these
and use L or select the line on create and as you can see make the line on on the points People asking me uh, about the other episode, uh, the private episode you will find on the playlist. You can download it, it's not for free. Uh, please go on and uh, download it from my website. You will find it on the description. And all uh, other episodes, uh, here we are on the 42, and next it will be be for free you can just see it on or follow it on YouTube here we arrived on the last line on these on these points okay uh, if you like to add a line on the middle of this because I will use it to make uh, revolve feature okay but we can edit it after uh, people um, following me for sideworks and inventor I will share next episode next week uh, on maybe in inventor or in solidworks okay I decided to make all the, all the episodes each uh, Wednesday and I will show one software, maybe a software or, or Inventor, okay? As you can see here, um, select all of these regions, as you can see. use this arrow click and drag and put minus here minus 45 okay sorry okay when we finish this what you have to do is just to hide the the cylinder block to see from the top and make the revolve feature okay as you can see here you have just to show the sketch okay Here, what you have to do is just to add a line here in the middle of the segment the same thing in here I will use this line okay, separate all the let's just wait Don't forget to save your work because a lot of uh, a lot of um, sketches and feature can make a crash on your PC. Okay, uh, select here evolve feature and select only one zone. Okay, like a mirror. Okay. Select one by one, and that's the last one. And for the axis, you can select this line. And as you can see, make sure that the operation is cut 
click OK and you have nice result here you can hide the sketch now make sure that you saved your work as you can see here Here, as you can see, when you finish working on the crankshaft bearing cap, as you can see here, right click on the uh, top level, okay, on the assembly, you will find here and isolate all. Now, you turn to the, um, to the whole assembly of the V12 engine. As you can see, you can verify if you if you can go as you can see here. I will hide the join and I will hide this one. Okay. Now uh, I will show the current craft and let's give it a try save your profile before wait a little bit okay now let's return just click and drag as you can see here the crankshaft does not touch the I'll not touch the, um, the crankshaft bearing cap as you can see here from the bottom whole thing is okay now what I have to say to you let's stop here and uh, we will work on the Maybe I will add the uh, holes after here, but let's leave the holes in, uh, in the last, okay, or to the last. Uh, here next week or next episode, we will make the oil tank. Thanks for watching and see you next week.